Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. In today's video we are going to be doing a how to build of the brand new LR Lilia. As you see I have LR there. It costs a lot of 5 star awaken, uh, enhanced pots. Like a lot. Probably close to 700. But now she is LR. Which is good. And I'll be making a PvP video on her tomorrow. But anyway let's get on to her stats. So her stats wise. She has quite good pierce right? Of course she has a pierce, race, uh, pierce rate character. So it does make sense. Uh... Resistance actually very high. Crit chance is like standard nowadays. It's like that, that, that's a very good standard. It's like collaboration level, which is quite good. Crit damage very good for HP defense. Crit resistance, it's okay. It's definitely not on the highest side, but it's definitely on the lowest side. But to make up for it, she's 131 base defense, which I think is the highest in the entire game. 131 percent is absurd. Uh, and I think that beats every character we currently have, which is uh, good, I guess. Because she's a little bit squishier with the crit resistance, but that's okay. Life still 18%, very good. CC is about 70k with like default, it's like not the best HP defense gear. Uh, it's okay, it's like basically 13.5, 14% plus. Which is, uh, it's okay, I guess. Now onto her skills. So her skills, you have a pierce rate and her normal healing skill. She basically just does pierce, and then it heals the lowest HP uh, ally. Uh, lowest HP by percent. By 80% of the damage you dealt. Level 2, it's your entire team by 30% of the damage you dealt. And level 3, it's your entire team by 40% of the damage you dealt. And now you have the AoE skill, which is now an infect skill. So at level 1, just infect. Level 2, it's infect and deplete one old gauge. At level 3, it's uh, infect for two turns and deplete three old gauge because this is an AoE and infect is kind of nice to have on most teams of course with humans if you're for example you're going to be running away with humans even if she doesn't really work well with humans um of course you've got Chaos Arthur who's an in got an insane infect it's way better than Lilia's but if catastrophes were to come into Merc you know a, a nice lifesteal recovery being infect is a very nice thing to have and now they have it on to armor, uh, remove all enemies' buffs, increase their damage taken by 50%, then inflict sever damage. Uh, of course, multiplier will change with alt level, but the actual effect doesn't. So you're still going to have sever, and you're still going to have the 50% damage taken that they're going to receive. That's not changing, but just the multiplier will. So if you have a 1 6, you have nothing to worry about, which is good. Now, on to the main part of her kit, which of course her passive. Which they fully reworked. Uh, with this, it gives me quite uh, quite good hope that they may just redo any character they want. I feel like they just pick a character that has decent cards. They think, okay, we're going to fully rework them. Because Lilia had nothing to do with this in her passive at all. They fully removed everything. The only thing she sort of had was the decrease attack, which was when you had a certain amount of old gauge on the enemies, and inflicts and a, a corrosion one as well. And now they've just combined it into one thing. Applies power of destruction all enemies for one turn at the start of the allies' turn. The seven catastrophes allies do not take more than 50% of their remaining HP when taking damage from skills during the enemy's turn. So basically, 50% damage cap. In addition, the seven catastrophes allies attack relay stats are increased by 7% for each power of destruction removed at the end of the enemy's turn up to 28%. What this basically means... You're versing four enemies, you get in, and after the first turn, you get 28% attack related stats. Which is good. The only reason this is good is because it doesn't rely on you having several uh, catastrophe uh, allies. It only You only technically need just th three or four enemies. You can just have Lilia by herself. She will fully boost herself with the 20% attack related stats if there are four enemies. Of course, most likely... You're going to be versus 3, so you're going to get 21% attack related stats, which is still quite good. Of course, I'm not sure how well she'll work in Demonic Beast. My guess is probably not very well. But then you've got Power of Destruction, which is uh, the first debuff, decreases the attack by 20%, and then it has like a corrosion effect of 15% of their remaining HP at the end of the turn. So, nothing too big, but if you're going second, it might be quite nice, because it'll immediately chip off a little bit of their health, especially if you're versing uh, a melee team, which you sort of want to like wipe them all pretty quick, because you know, when melee builds up, it's kind of scary, when Eskadal builds up, it's kind of scary, and Gotha just sits there in the middle. Uh, but that's just how it works. On to Heroic, which is actually going to be very handy for her. Increase the hero's basic stats by 10% for every debuff effect on the enemy. Which is going to be absurd. You can, you can bear in mind this is an LR, who can boost their attack related stats, let's just say by 21%, because it's mostly going to be 21%. And then, then boost her basic stats by 50%. You might, you, let's say you put then Arthur on the team as well, it's another 15%, 65% basic stat boost, so on and so forth. 
she might be quite good. And of course, I'll give her a try on PvP. Uh, I've seen people say she's quite bad. I haven't really watched any videos on her. I'm going to try it out myself because that's how I like to do it. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how uh, she is. As you can see, outfits, these are all just event ones. So you've got an event one here, uh, which comes back every now and again. You've got another event one, which I haven't seen for quite a while. This might actually be in the Hawk Pass uh, event every now and again. Uh, weapons wise, once again, two event ones, and then you've got the Christmas one, and then Affinity, all that kind of stuff. Uh, cosmetics, once again, she has lots of headgears. You've got Standard Lilia, Hero Affinity Lilia, Standard Lilia, Hero Affinity Lilia, Event, LR, and then Event. And of course, then her Holy Relic, which doesn't really give her the most CC, but it's not really needed. But anyway, she's quite. I could see it being quite a half decent character. Let's actually check out her animations, see if her animations have changed much. Probably hasn't, but I want to see what they look like. On to her level 1. I'm really using this to damage test. 128k level 1 HP defense, not too bad. Wait. That applies every turn. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like that. That means Leah can give herself 28% attack or less stats. Then. Infect. It's infect and remove all gauge. It's good damage. Like honestly, I know this enemy has like no defense related stats, right? But it's half decent damage. And then you got her ultimate. Which hasn't really changed much. Of course, different cutting because it's LL Lilia now. I was kind of hoping like the 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 Leviathan or the dragon thing she had would like change just a tiny bit. I was hoping for like, a little bit more detail on it, maybe because it's quite bland looking. That's good damage. 325k with no, no normal supporting. Of course she's now probably at max passive stacks. Uh, I'm not sure of it reapplying. Uh, it counts as it sort of uh, work, work, her passive work. I mean that's it. She seems like quite a cool character of course. If you are, if you have lots of LR coins, let's say you're currently at 200 and you have every LR in the game, you might as well just get her. Uh, not only because you'd be wasting LR coins, but Jesus, she might be okay in the future, you know, you might as well just get it now and keep stacking up LR coins. But anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you next one, goodbye.